Now, some of us and some of you have been, had the privilege of, of seeing what supposedly was Lazarus' tomb. Could have been, probably something like it, and you go way down into the ground. And a couple of times when I've been there and I stood outside, and after everybody sort of wandered away, a lot of folks weren't standing there, I just sort of stood back and looked at that big empty hole. It wasn't a large empty hole, it's just a door, but it's black inside because it's dark without a light when you're standing outside in the sunlight. And I thought to myself standing there, what would I have really thought if somebody had come out of there all bound up in grave clothes that I knew had been dead for four days? You know, we read these things, and we don't place ourselves back and see how they could have died. We'd have been just as much, in fact, we probably would have said, you bet, go ahead, mm-hmm. Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. When he came forth, he was bound in his uh, clothes, and so they unwrapped him and let him go. Now, so you and I know the story of the resurrection, but here's what I want us to see here. And that is, I want us to see God's higher purpose in the way he relates to our life. Now, let's look here for just a moment, the circumstances in which God works his higher purpose. And you and I know the story now, that Lazarus has died, and the normal thing, or, or that he's sick, and the normal thing for him to do, if you'll turn back to Matthew 8, the normal thing for Jesus to have done is what he did on one occasion when you'll recall the centurion came to him, and he said in Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 and 6, he said, Sir, my servant's lying paralyzed at home, suffering great pain. And he said to him, I'll come and heal him. Centurion said, Lord, I'm not qualified for you to come into my roof. You just say the word, my servant will be healed. Well, now they sent somebody to uh, Jesus to tell him that Lazarus was dead. But if you get to figuring the time it took for them to get to Bethany, where Jesus was down by the Jordan, more than likely, Lazarus was already dead because by the time he got there, if you'll notice, it was four days. It took him two days. It, the Scripture says he stayed there two days longer. So more than likely, Lazarus was dead before the messenger got there and returned. So Jesus waited two days longer. So what's happened is, uh, verse 3, the Scripture says, The sisters therefore sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, not that Lazarus is sick, but what? He whom you love is sick. Now, this sickness, Jesus heard about it, said it's not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified by it. And Jesus loved Martha and Mary, and he said, now we're going to stay two days longer. And imagine what the apostles must have felt when... He said, yes, I hear that Lazarus is sick, but we're going to stay two days longer. Now, don't know what kind of sickness he had. It may have been something that they thought was, uh, or they may have said, it seems that he's dying or he has this disease or that or the other, so you better come quickly. But Jesus didn't do anything. He just remained there for two days. How would you have felt if the messenger had come back and said, well, uh, and Mary and Martha said, where's Jesus? And the message had to say, well, he's not coming yet. You mean he's not coming, and Lazarus is sick, and he loves Lazarus, and how many times he's been in our home, and we've fed him? Why isn't he coming? I don't know, but he just said he'd come later. Well, what would you think? You'd probably get a little upset. Here's what I want us to see. How many times have you and I come to the Lord, and we've asked him to do something, and God didn't do it? In other words, we said, Lord, here's our request, and here's our schedule. And if you don't do it by a certain time, God, I'm going to be in trouble, and your name's going to be mud. So <laughs> you, you better get on with doing it. And so we held out and handed it up to God and told him what to do. And what did God do? He just waited. He just waited till what? He waited until he could fulfill his higher purpose. Now, their purpose was very legitimate. Their purpose was their brother was sick, and to ask Jesus to heal their brother was as natural and normal and right and good, and it was the proper thing to do. So their purpose was right, and it was good, it was a feasible thing to do, but God superseded their purpose with a higher purpose. Now, what was their response to that? And let's skip on over to uh, verse 21. And that is, how did they conduct themselves 
when they sent the word to Jesus and told him that Lazarus was sick, Martha said to him, Lord, if you'd been here, a Lazarus wouldn't have died. And on over a few verses later, we saw when Mary came out, she said, if you'd been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Now, how many times have you and I come into a situation and, and we've asked God to do something and he didn't do it and the circumstances that resulted, how many times have we said, Lord, you know, I did the best I could. This is, this is your thing. This is your fault. Look what's happened. Or even if we didn't say that and things didn't turn out the way we expected them to turn out, we think, God, what's going on? And Martha and Mary must have wondered, where is Jesus? I mean, he's dead. Where is Jesus? We, he knows that Lazarus is sick, and now he knows that Lazarus is dead. Where in the world is Jesus? How many times have you come to the brink of some circumstance in your life and you said, God, where are you? Why don't you hear me? Why don't you do something? And God has waited till your time ran out and it was all over and there was nothing else to do. God's higher purpose oftentimes doesn't fit into our schedule. Their purpose was the healing of their brother. Let me ask you a question. Did God heal their brother? I know you're wondering if I'm trying to trick you on healing or, or, or resurrection. No, I'm not trying to trick you. Uh, okay, let's put it this way. Did, did he recover his health? He did, okay. All right. All right. He recovered his health. So did Mary and Martha get their request? Which was better? Mary and Martha's request or God's higher purpose? All right, look at this. If you'll go back over to um, verse 4. When Jesus heard that he was sick, this sickness is not unto death, but what? What is it for? Glory of God. All right, let's stop on sickness here for just for a moment. Let me ask you a question. What sicknesses fall under the category of the glory of God? All right, somebody said. Now, let me ask you, how many of you have been sick to the glory of God? <laughs> oh, you think I'm going to trick you? I'm, I promise I'm not going to trick you. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How many of you... Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go on. All right, he says, he says this sickness is for the glory.